Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. <laughs> I said, well, it's love to you and welcome. And I hope everybody's having a blessed week. They made it through this week without a, without a hair out of place. And good God, it's been a hellish week. But um, I hope everybody has gone through it and they're ready for this weekend. I know you're like, heck yeah, I'm ready for my weekend. So with that all being said, much love to you and namaste. Many blessings are coming your way. I know I messed up my, my thing, but I've been doing this too many times. And with that being said, much love, namaste, blessings, and many blessings are coming your way. I messed it up, but anyway. If you've been watching my videos uh, for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know that I'm about to upload my next video. Um, and if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life. And heading you towards the positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is getting good information or good vibes, and you know, you feel like you want to share it with a loved one, family, or friend, or fellow empath, please go ahead and do so, especially if they're going through dark times and just really need some uplift, validation, or confirmation. And go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. And thank you so much for, you know, supporting my channel. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, I've been. This is like my eighth video I'm doing today, so it's crazy. But you probably won't get this until Saturday. So, um, but yeah, uh, my meditation song. I really love the graphics on this video. It's called the Feel, Feel the Third Eye Power Awakening, Awaken with with you. Listen to these beats. Third Eye Music by Mr. Theta Binario. I'm going to go ahead and show you this picture. But if you go by, you need to see this meditation because it's like, you, you, let me see if you can see this. Like, but you just see like ripple effects. I'm like, wow, that's so psychedelic. I love it. But anyways, let me see what video I'm doing today. I got at least about 20 different contents that I'm trying to do. And I'm probably only going to push out like three more other videos after this. But um, my video is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocas, when upgrades and downloads uh, take you to your breaking point. Y'all didn't know. Oof. Because it was like, I didn't understand why everything was. It, I mean, it's already real to me, but I felt everything. Like I, I told y'all in my first video, I was really going through it where I was crying, ready to give up, about to pull my hair out, just crying to the point where, I mean, I was snotting. You know, I swelled up. I, I just got tired. I'm like, why am I feeling everything? Why is everything so intense right now? Why is everything so freaking heavy? Can you please tell me this? And it had to be one of my love bugs to tell me, hey, we just went through a major shift. I'm like, you know what? How many daggone shifts are we going to go through? Because this is making me Lucy Lulu. I can't deal with no more of these. I'm just ready to get through this and keep on moving. Why we got to go through all these different shifts? It's about to make me seasick. I can't do all that. I can't handle that. You know, so I'm just wondering why we got to go through that. And I just hear the universe laughing at me and saying, that girl don't have a couple of seats. So I said, well, y'all made me this way. Because all these shifts done rattled my brain to the certain point where I feel like I'm about to have to admit myself in the Bradley Center. I ain't got time. I really don't have time. Be up on the fifth floor. I can't do it. But it's just like going through all these different changes. It's really, I mean, it really like shook shook me to the core like I, I can't take no more of this I'm so tired it, you know this month is already sucky for me and now you really trying to put me through it but then it's just like I know when you go through stuff I know you're like man I must be close to something because stuff is starting to get really real like why I'm really going through this stuff like it's really putting me through some hell you really trying me the universe is really trying you like you really want to try me and I'm trying not to get disrespectful with you because I know you can really make my world come down you know what? I'm just like, Lord, I'm trying to bite. I'm trying to bite. <laughs> you know I'm really trying to bite myself. Like, ah, uh, y'all don't know how y'all working on my nerves. You know, I'm like, God, I got to talk to you. I got to do this. I can't do it no more. I'm about, to, I'm about to snap. I can't. You know, and it's just like when I, I'm able to talk to people, it's a blessing when you're able to talk to somebody just to get that out. Because sometimes I know it's good to deal with things on your own. But when you get to that breaking point, like, you know, I talk to my dad metaphysically. I talk to my mom 
spiritually. I talk to my grams and my grandpa spiritually. And it's just like, you know, I, you know, I go through my past, like I go through my photos because I know I have a lot of um, uplift. I have a lot of positive things that I have, you know, posted like on my Facebook or even here, you know, if I, I feel like I'm putting positive meditations on saying a positive word and plus giving you a post so i want you to feel everything positive coming around me because i know we really truly needed it this time because these times get hard really hard <laughs> you know i'm tired of going through these things it's just like i keep it real with y'all you know i know my last video i was like girl dad you were talking about 16 minutes you ain't did a video like that since you first started when you were telling your whole life story in 45 minutes to an hour you had to break it down to two parts you know and it's just like when you're going through all these different things you know i said i know you know i'm rocking like a daggone patient like I'm looking for straight mental. I'm like, Lord, I know this is, you know, I'm like, Lord, I know it's for a reason. You know, I'm just like, really, like, I'm done. Like, I really thought I was about to be admitted because it's, it's just like, but I'm glad I got myself together. I'm okay now. <laughs> I was like, I'm okay now. You know, so it's just like, I'm being very com comedical, whatever that word is, comedic. You know, I've been trying to add on certain words. I've been trying to make my own language. You know, I don't care. But I'm just saying, you know, we go through things, we deal with it. You know, even though I be going through some hard stuff, I try to be funny. You know, that's what us as hayokers do. I act the fool sometimes. You know, I say I just know when I get out in public, unless I'm doing a, a comedy stand, I'm not about to do that. Because so many people tell me, Rosalind, you need to be on stage. I'm like, no, because, I, I, you know, me, I be trying to talk about folks. And I, I'm not trying to talk about folks. I'm in a whole different thing now. Now, but if I'm talking about myself, it's a whole different thing. You know, I can laugh at myself. I don't care if you laugh at me because, you know, it is what it is. It's what it is what it is. But it's just like when we're going through things, we know we have to go through to get to it. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but it's true. And it's just like, I know, I understand something must be, I mean, is Godzilla coming? I'm like, you know, I'm looking at the movies, Godzilla, Godzilla. You know, what what's coming that you got us going through all these crazy changes right now? Because I'm just like, is Independence Day coming 2012? What, what, I mean, what you doing? Cause I'm really trying to understand what is going on to have us going through all these changes like this. I'm just trying to understand. I'm allowed, allow me to retort. What am I going through? <laughs> you know, I'm just like, well, I gotta go through all these many changes. Them shifts are, you know, if I ain't going to shifts, I'm just like somebody pulling me this way, and then you got me going this way. I'm ascending. Next thing you know, I'm experiencing Dark Knight of the Soul. Then I'm hitting Dag on Kundalini, about to break the hell out, and you know, skin peeling and stuff like that. You know, like I got a big pimple here. I've been messing with for the last few days, or you know, I'm going through a spiritual awakening. I'm like, how many of them Dag on things I'm gonna have to go through? And you're trying to tell me I got another upgrade to go through. And I mean, I'm really feeling this on my third eye. So it's just like, woo. You know, I mean, yeah, I made my eyes shift a little bit. I got a little cockeyed for a minute. But I'm just saying, it, it's just like, you, you really got me going through it. And it's just like, like I said, the clean of gland, third eye, be just acting up. I mean, there was, used to be so bad where I used to get sores and bruises. I'm like, Dad, somebody dumped you in the middle of your forehead. I would have been locked up. If y'all ain't seen me for like about a week and I ain't returned no comments, y'all know, mm -mm, I'm locked up somewhere because somebody thumped me in the middle of my head. It's all going to go down in the DMs. I'm, I promise I'm telling you. But I'm just saying, I'm tired of going through these. I know you are too. But it, it's just like it took me to that breaking point to where I'm just like, please, this is almost over because I cannot, I cannot, I can't do this. <laughs> I felt like I'm really about to go through it, but it, it's just like I know it made me a lot stronger after I cried. Because it's just like I've seen posts where it says you have to cry, you got to get angry, you got to get furious, and then you. You have to let it out. Because I heard my my gram say, baby, you got to let all this go. I know you're reflecting on some really hard times right now. And I know this is hard to grasp a concept to it of what you went through. Because, I mean, I know I went through it. But sometimes my brain is like, it's still in shock. Like, you really went through this? Your family really did this to you? You are who your father's child is? You know, are you this? You know, I had to go through that. That was a whole initial shock to me because this is a whole new world I'm not used to. You know, knowing I had some kind of inkling, I had a connection with him. But it's just knowing my life is the way it is, it's really been hard. Knowing I had to deal with this, I had to heal with this, acknowledge it, embrace it. 
do some deep down studies, but it's just like when I find out things my family has done, you know, uh, knowing what kind of background I have, you know, just like my children, they're musical, they're very artistic. If the one's not a photo photographer, one's a hairdresser, and it one sings. The other one, she's spiritually, you know, advanced. She sings. She she makes her own soaps. She makes her own lotions. It's like she's witchery. You know, she's all these things, concept in one. And that was the fireball right there. And I should have known she's going to be all, you know, she's that one little gift that's wrapped up in a little small box. But going through all those things is a true blessing. Even though these things are just about to probably send you off your rocker. Knowing deep down, down the lane, it's going to make some kind of sense to you. So stay strong, stay vigilant, and stay brave, and stay woke. Because you know there's something coming for us that we probably are not going to be prepared for. You're going to be scratching your head many a days when we see what we got to see. But I hope you're able to resonate. Drop me a line. Y'all, I'm just acting straight cutting food because it's Friday. I ain't got paid and I ain't got ish to do. So I'm going to be just chilling and talking to you. So drop me a line, <laughs> give me a thumbs up, like and even share. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. Let me see who I'm going to give my shout out to. Um, Sebastian, uh, Express Earth Angel, and Deadwood. Much love to you. And I hope everybody has a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible and safe for every single thing you do. Like I said, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Drop me a line. Share. I would love to get your, your feedback on this. And I will see you on my next video. Stay blessed. You know, as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Kind words can really go a long way. So much love. Peace. Be white.